Hey, thank you for watching this video. I would like to ask you if you could help me out and reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. As you can see, currently only 0.1% of my viewers are subscribed. I'm trying to change that and I could really use your help. So please, if you like the content, please subscribe. Hi, welcome back in a new video. I'm going to make a video about the commands in Baritone. So this idea this video idea was brought to me by the username nova so thank you for bringing this to my to my attention so let's just get straight on with it um on my screen you can see several commands of baritone now as you can see it's a long list and i can't go through all of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick out a couple of these um commands that i find most interesting and that i use the most and yeah let's just get straight into it so in the comment Nova wrote, there was a question about the settings. Now the settings are quite different from the commands because the settings dictate how the command should be run. So in this case, you have a list of commands here. I will link this, um, this page into the description, so no worries. So these are the commands. Uh, I will go over those in a little bit. However, we're currently first going to look at the settings. So the creative baritone rise, there's at least a hundred, hundred of settings, about a hundred of set, uh, well, can't even English anymore, <laughs> about a hundred settings, um, but these are the most interesting ones. So you can see allow, allow sprint, allow place, allow parkour. So all of these settings, um, you can just write either false or true. In this case, um, what will happen, you will either enable or disable the settings based on your preferences. So let's say um, we are going to use, um, let's see, uh, build or schematica, which is basically it follows a, path, uh, a 3D blueprint um, that was previously created. And then the baritone bot or AI will recreate this into Minecraft. Um, I'm not going to make a tutorial about Schematica or Lightmatica. I, I simply don't have enough experience with it. So I'm just going to leave that on to the side. However, if you can see here, you can see building layers. Now, if you're building something with a 3D model, it is, well, very helpful that you build in layers. So you start at the bottom. You work your way up by layer layer and another layer on top of that so if you turn this on it will make your building experience way easier of course ai is doing it but it will be way better your building will look better as well because sometimes ai can't reach the spots you're building on um, because you weren't building in layers so yeah i can't go over a hundred settings uh, it's way too much um just yeah, read the documentation about it um, and yeah also use your minds you, usually these settings they um, well, they're pretty clear you know what they do so for example allow break would you want ai to break or not break blocks easy so let's just move on to the commands so one of the features baritone has is the tunnel feature perhaps if you're playing on a survival world like me um, well, currently I'm not in survival, but usually I do play survival. Um, you would like to travel long distances, right? So sometimes it ends up being very difficult to travel from one point to another point, you know, to get out of a uh, spawn area, for example. So Baritone introduces tunnel feature to, well, create a long tunnel for you, where you can safely walk across and not be bothered by lava, falling, or whatsoever. Let's just jump in here. And all right, so I'm just going to write B tunnel and it just starts going. Of course, I'm in creative. That's why it's super fast. Um, yeah, it is just because of a, I'm in creative. As you can see, it even clears the gravel that falls. And let's say there's a, a lava pool up ahead. It will clear it. It will go around it. Um, the same goes for when you're in the nether um, because oh, in the nether sometimes you have oh, big cliffs of course so let me just show you what happens in the nether I 
right, so now we're in the nether. We're quite on a low level, so we can still do B tunnel. So you can see, it will build a bridge itself. I'm not doing anything at the moment, and it will just continue. In the distance, you can see also, um, it's changing its path, its course, because of the fact that there's either lava or magma blocks. It's just trying its best to avoid hurting the player, which is really good if you're trying to, well, get out of spawn, if you're on an anarchy server, or whatsoever. So, yeah. It just continues until you tell it to stop. So, let me just build a new portal real quick to go back to the overworld. In one of my older videos, I also showcase that Baritone can dig 100 by 100. Um, so, I'm not gonna showcase that in this video because I've already covered it. So, well, we got a lucky uh, portal up here. So, let's just go. Uh, Back to the surface real quick. And we are in water. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just down here, get ourselves a hoe and some seeds. Because for the next next one, I'm going to tell Baritone to farm for me. So I'm just gonna write B L farm. And it will start calculating where to farm. Just goes and clean all the and cleans all the melons. So you get some food. It can also um, use the hoe, and then it can plant and replant seeds. It doesn't matter which one. It can be wheat. It can be carrots, beetroot, whatever. Everything works. So it's super powerful if you're on a single player world and you just started. You know. So let's just stop this, and for the final, um, what the f*** is in here? Oh, I keep forgetting I can't f*** on videos. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, for the last one, I'm going to tell you perhaps the most powerful tool you can use. Um, in Minecraft, of course, there's rare blocks and less rare blocks. Um, in order to collect a lot of rare blocks in a quick time and quick time period without doing any effort at all is by using b.b mine and then diamond ore so in this case it's gonna mine diamond ore you can also say diamond ore and then space iron ore or coal whatever you need whatever you want and it will just go it will create its own roots in minecraft and then it will just Recap, and then it will just dig down to the diamonds as you can see like this and then it goes back up to the following to the next one and that is how you collect a lot of diamonds in a short time so yeah i hope you enjoyed me making this video i'm a starting content creator so i really appreciate the support and you can always shoot me video ideas i will definitely make them and again this video idea was made possible by the username Nova. He wrote this or he wrote a comment saying that hey can you explain this? And yeah sure. Definitely why not? I wouldn't mind to do so. So see you guys later.